Hello there, I'm Darry from Cosmic Camper Vans. Now, if you've arrived on this video, then you're probably looking for someone to complete some kind of modification to your camper van, or you're looking to learn more about pop tops for your camper van or other general modifications. So, I'd like to take this opportunity to basically help you as much as possible by explaining a few frequently asked questions about pop tops and Cosmic Camper Vans in general. I'm also going to give you a quick overview of why you should trust Cosmic Camper Vans to complete a pop top roof installation on your camper van. Now, I understand that choosing a company to install a pop top for you can be quite the daunting task. There's so many questions that you may have in your mind. So if there's anything I haven't covered in this video, then please feel free to reach out to us via email and I'll be happy to help you. So, why should you listen to me? Well, over the past six years, my company has installed over 1,000 pop tops on various different vehicle models. I've personally catered to hundreds of personal customer needs over this period, and I've ensured that I have the extensive knowledge in my industry. If you'd like to take five minutes to read through some of many five-star reviews, then I'm certain that you will feel reassured that we are the best company for your pop top installation needs. Our workshop is based in Derby, East Midlands, and we have a small friendly team that is focused on customer satisfaction, high quality workmanship, and quick turnaround times. We are not a large factory working to churn out as many pop tops as possible, like many other companies, and we pride ourselves on our after-sales service as well as our workmanship. So in terms of pop top installations, we can cater to the following vehicles. Number one, the VW Transporter, T5, and upwards. Number two, the Ford Transit Custom. And finally, number three, the Renault Traffic Vauxhall Vivaro. They're the same. So if you have another vehicle model, then it may be worth inquiring to find out if we can help you, but we can't promise this as there are so many different vehicles out there. And so you may be asking yourself, why should you actually get a pop top installed? Well, there's a huge list of positives and I'm going to outline the main three. So number one is the head height. As we all know, in the camper vans, they are very limited in space. So by adding the pop top, you can truly maximize the living space with your camper van and make your overall experience much more comfortable. You won't need to be bending over when cooking or getting changed, for example. Number two, extra two berth sleep sleeping capacity. This is great if you have children and are looking for a convenient, safe space for them to sleep at night. It's also great for solo travelers that want to keep the space downstairs in the van usable and not for sleeping. And it also means you have a quick and easy to use sleeping space when compared to an inflatable awning. Finally, number three, added value to the van. If you ever come to sell the van, it will be a much more appealing purchase as the roof will have already been installed and the purchaser won't need to go and get that sorted out if they're wanting a camper van with a pop top, which is pretty much the requirement for most people nowadays. So overall, a pop top is simply going to make your camper van extremely more comfortable and practical to use. It's almost a must nowadays considering the small compact size of the camper vans. So you're probably asking, what should you be expecting to pay for a pop top? Well, in this industry, there's never been a truer saying than the classic, you get what you pay for and buy cheap, buy twice. A pop top is an investment in your vehicle and with it being the number one most important part to get right, you want to ensure that you're opting for a good quality product. A pop top is expensive to build and therefore anything below a £3,000 price tag, we believe that is a cheaply made product and will have had corners cut in the manufacturing process. So from experience, the correct market price for a pop top should be anything between three to five thousand pounds, dependent on the optional extras that you go for. It's important to look out for the warranty on each product as well. So if you opt for a cheaper pop top, you will most likely find that it's going to suffer from these issues. Number one, poor quality or cheap canvas, which is gonna be prone to either ripping or leaking. Number two, it's going to have a cheap and flimsy insulation frame. You're cutting out a large part of the van and that means you're going to be removing a large amount of structural strength within the van's framework. So you should be ensuring that the strength, structural strength is replaced. This can also cause the pop top to squeak and rattle, so which can be incredibly annoying when you're driving long distance. So with the cheaper pop tops, you're also going to find that some of the hinges are not going to be stainless steel and they're going to seize up after a few years of use. Uh, point number four actually is a short war warranty period, one or two years compared to the five years that we offer on all our pop tops, giving you complete peace of mind. So overall, we're aiming to make sure all of our products are affordable and give you a great bang for your buck. Lead times, how long does it usually take to fit or install a pop top? 
Well, lead times can vary greatly throughout the year and it's due to the busy periods in the year. The busiest time of the year is the late winter, early spring. So we would recommend booking in advance, usually two months before you're looking to have it completed by. And in terms of the VW Transporter, we usually carry a large stock of these roofs. So lead times can be, uh, so, so lead times for insulation tend to be around two to three weeks. For other vehicles, it's good practice to estimate around six weeks from date of deposit as these roofs need to be ordered individual to each particular customer. So for the actual installation of the pop top, this again can vary between each and every van due to a few different variables. A good estimate is around four working days from drop off. So our usual drop off day is Monday morning in the first thing and collection is Thursday afternoon towards the end of the day. However, if you're having a larger than usual amount of work, then it could possibly carry on into the next week. It all depends on just how much work is being carried out and the type of vehicle. So we will also make sure that you're aware of a good estimate when we go through the booking process. Now, can you install a pop top if the van is already converted? If you've already got a camper van that is fully converted, i.e. features and interior cabinets, carpeting, etc., etc., then you may be wondering if it's still possible to install a pop top. Yes, it is indeed. Here at Cosmic, we regularly install pop tops to vehicles that are pre-converted. It's kind of one of our specialities, actually. Now, many companies don't take on this kind of work as they don't have the experience required to install a pop top around the furniture, but we do. So during the quotation period, we will usually ask people to make us aware if there is any cabinets, etc., present in the van. And if there is, we will ask for some photos to make sure that we are still able to work around the interior conversion. There may also be a small extra labor charge to work around the setup as it can take us a lot more time to install the pop top. What does SWB or LWB mean? So SWB means short wheelbase and LWB means long wheelbase. This is the length of the van that you have and it's extremely important as it will dictate what size roof you will require. Do you offer finance for the pop top installs? Unfortunately, we don't offer finance at any of our services. We have found that 99% of people are happy to pay for the service outright and finance has never really been requested. So how does the booking process work? Well, it's really quite simple. If you're interested in having a pop top or any kind of work in, done to your van, you can get into contact with us first of all. We will guide you through the quotation process, find out what you're looking for, get a quote drafted up and confirm that this quote is correct for all your requirements. At this point, there may be two or three phone calls required. Once you're happy with the quote and we've confirmed that everything is correct and you're happy to go ahead, then we'll take a small 500 pound deposit from you to secure the booking. We will then get you booked into the diary with a date that's suitable for you. Now, on the day of your booking, you will drop the vehicle off to our workshop and our team will be there ready and waiting to get started on the conversion. And throughout the week, you will receive photo updates from our workshop manager. And this is a great way to see the progress of the installation and also for a memory book for your own personal records. You will also be kept up to date via phone and that will be basically to keep you in the loop for when your camper van is gonna be ready to be collected. Now, on the highly anticipated day of collection, you will return to collect your newly transformed camper van, pay the remaining outstanding balance on the job, inspect the great work carried out by our team, and then you'll drive off to the nearest campsite to test out your latest new toy on your camper van. So what if you would like to have other work carried out at the same time? Well, the fantastic thing about Cosmic Camper Vans is that we're able to help you with almost all your conversion modification needs. We have extensive experience in all the areas of the camper van conversions, and therefore, if you're looking for, for anything from carpet lining, diesel heaters, solar panels, electrical setups, or window fitting, we can do all of this plus much more. Also, if you're looking for these kinds of services and not a pop top, we can still do this. We're not limited to just fitting pop tops. We understand that everybody has their own needs and we try our best to make sure that we can cater to those. So I hope that this video has been extremely helpful for you and it answered some of your questions regarding the pop tops or our company. Now, if you have any more questions or would like to speak to someone about your, getting your camper van converted, then you can easily get into contact with us via phone, email, or by simply clicking the link below this video to drop us a submission request. We aim to call back every customer within 24 working hours. Thank you very much for watching guys, and I hope to see you very soon.